are we there yet? It was Jenny and Jamie's first trip to the big zoo in the city and they couldn't wait to get there. Are we there yet? Soon became the frustrating phrase of the day. You are familiar with that phrase, aren't you? Jenny and Jamie were twins and they were excited. They had just completed kindergarten and because they did so well, we were going to the big zoo in the city. After they got into the family car's back seat, Mom checked their set belts and Dad said, If everyone is ready, let the journey begin. They set off, heading to the big zoo in the city. The big zoo in the city was a long way from home. It wasn't long before Jenny and Jimmy were bored. They were so excited and just wanted to see the animals even get some peanuts popcorn and soda, but it was taking so long. Are we there yet? No, his mom replied. It will be a little while. Why don't you and Jenny look out the window and count pine trees? Jimmy looked at Jenny and then tried to look out the window, but they were too low in the seat to see anything. Jenny grumbled, Dad, we can't see out the window. Are we there yet? Yeah, are we there yet? Jimmy sang out. We are getting close, Mom chimed in. Why don't you both sing a song that will help pass the time? Okay, Jenny said. Then she leaned over to Jimmy and whispered something in his ear. They both smiled and giggled a little as they faced the front of the car and began to sing. Are we there yet? 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 Their dad looked at their mom and said softly, I don't know about you, but I am glad we're here. Then, in a deep voice, he sang out, We have arrived! Jenny and Jimmy giggled. Jimmy and Jenny had such a fun day. They visited every animal, had fun in the petting zoo, and ate hot dogs, popcorn, and peanuts. So, it was time to leave. Mom got their set belts on and they were headed home. I hope they are tired and fall asleep. Dad whispered to Mom. Are we there yet? Jenny giggled in a soft voice. 